Hi guys, my name's Maggie. I'm here at Dill's Greenhouse. It's February 12th, 2024. Um, and we're just about ready to start some seeds here this season. So we're gonna talk about that and show you around our seed room here. Um, I have some seeds laid out on you what you could start right now in uh, mid-February. Um, that would include some of the coal crops, um, herbs, and some peppers. So you'll be able to start these now, and then the coal crops you'll be able to put out uh, in April. The other stuff won't be until mid-May, but we could go ahead and have some fun and start now. So I have some products that I'll show you for seed starting. Um, this right here is our in-house tray. You can buy them full of soil from us for $5.99. And we do also have some nice varieties of ones that come with lids. So this one here from Jiffy does come with a lid on top, which is really great. Um, you can put it in your window and make sure it gets all the light and all the sun and all the moisture. So that is one of them. And I'm going to show you over here, we've got some more options too. So right in here in the entrance of the store, we've got lots of great selections between peat pots, peat pellets, and other select trays, depending on what size you guys need. Um, these are great. You could just fill with soil and they're compostable. You just put them right in the ground. Same with the peat pellets. So got lots of great stuff here to work with along with some seed starting soil and some heat mats just to make sure it's all warm for the seedlings. So. Okay, so today I'm going to use this tray here to plant some basil. Um, this cannot be put outside until May 15th, but we're going to start it inside now because it can be trimmed easily inside and we can go ahead and start any of the herbs now and just keep them inside, make sure they stay all warm. So we have some great seed starting soil here from Espoma. You don't have to use seed starting soil if you don't have it. You can also use potting soil, but just make sure it's airy, it's light, um, it's not topsoil material, um, just to make sure that the seeds aren't compressed and it's nice and light. So we're gonna go ahead and start with making some holes in the soil here. Just one per container. We don't have to be too specific because we're doing an herb, but we're gonna do as best we can. So I'm gonna put some in my hand first here since we're doing it by hand. And I'm gonna take a little pinch and sprinkle it right in the soil. I'm aiming to get like anywhere from three to four seeds per tray spot here. Um, if we were doing broccoli or collard, something like that, where it is just one plant, not something that we can trim, I would do one seedling per tray here. But because we're doing the herb, we're going to have lots of little starts in there. Do this all throughout the tray. So once you've got your seeds laid out, um, you want to cover it with some soil. And I'm also going to cover ours with a product that we sell called Vermiculite, um, which will just protect the seeds and make sure all the moisture is contained. Um, if you don't have Vermiculite at home or you're not interested in purchasing an extra product, you can also just use Saran Wrap. Um, and keep it nice and sunny, as much sun as possible by uh, a window or if you have an at-home greenhouse, um, just as long as it's getting heat and lots of sun. So this is the Vermiculite, one of the sizes that we have. Um, we also have a smaller size available. Um, this one here is already open, so I'm just gonna take some. It's a very nice light material and we're just gonna sprinkle it lightly on top here. You don't want it too thick, but you want a nice protective layer over the seeds that you just planted. And like I said, it contains moisture, or it retains moisture for your seedlings and protects it just a little more. Okay. 
And all the products that we have are here until they run out. And the seed starting stuff is very popular, especially the soil here. We always, always sell out of that very quickly. Same with all the trays and stuff. So we're open now, um, and you can buy these things uh, right now. We're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 3 at the moment. Um, the hours may change a little later. Um, we've got plenty of seed options, like I said, and we look forward to working with you and seeing you coming spring. So thank you so much.